Hi, Shalom. Hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to recap what we learned last time, last week before the before we began reviewing for the test, and then we'll continue on. Hopefully, we will learn today Sukim Kav Gimel at least to Lamed. Hopefully, till Lamed Gimel. So, as we learned last time, we learned the tragic story of Amnon and Tamar. Amnon seduced, not seduced, but he convinced, based on the words of, words of Yonadav, um, Tamar that he was sick, got Tamar to be alone with him in his room, and he ultimately raped Tamar. We learned at the beginning of the story that Avshalom was also the brother of Tamar. And I just want to pick up over here where, um, where we see the story you know, the, the, the end of the story. Vayomer ileha Avshalom achia, ha'amnon achi chaya imach. Avshalom says to Tamar, was Amnon with you? Vata achusi acharishi achichu, al tashisi et li beich la davar azed. Don't pay attention to what happened. And Tamar is desolate, she is silent, and she stays bebeit, Av Shalom Achiha stays with in Av Shalom's home. David in Pasuk of Alf hears this, gets very angry. The Lo di Ber Av Shalom Imamnon le Merav Yatov, and Kavbek concludes by saying that Av Shalom never spoke to Amnon about this, good or bad. Kisane Av Shalom and Amnon, because Av Shalom hates. Amnon al davar ishirina Tamar because he afflicted his sister Tamar. And now that's that we learned already, and that that was just a little bit of review. Now let's pick it up with pasuk kaf gimel. Vayhi lishnatayemimim. Please write notes on your own. It's two years later. Vayhi gozim laav shalom. Every few years, a few months, they would shear the sheep. And that was a big simcha, a big party, because that would mean that they would make a lot of money during this time. They go zim lav shalom, for av shalom owned a lot of flock, and they were shearing the sheep. Bival chatzor asher im Ephraim, in a place in Val chatzor in Ephraim. Vaikra av shalom lechol b'nei melech. And av shalom sent letters to invite all the sons of the kings, all his brothers and half-brothers, to go enjoy this simcha, this party, with him. Kaf, that's Pasuk Kaf Gimel, Kaf Dalet. Vayavo Av Shalom El HaMelech. Av Shalom personally goes to the king, to David. Vayomer, hine na gozim lavdecha. Right now, he says, for me, he calls myself, my, your slave. We are your servant. We are shearing the sheep. Yelech na hamelach vavadav imavdecha. David, Abba, Dad, can you please come with us to shear the sheep? Or at least join us in the simcha. Vayom hamelach alav shalom. The melech responds to av shalom. Albini al na nelech kulanu. No, son, I'm not going to go. We're all not going to go. Velo nichpad alacha. It's going to be too much work for you if everybody goes. It's going to be too much. Vayifrotzbo. He pushed him. He you know, put pressure on him. Come on, Abba. We really want you to come with us. Velo aval alechet. He refused to come. David refused to come. Vayivar And he gave, David gave his son, Avshalom, a blessing. That's Kafe. Av Shalom pushed the king to come, and David refused to come. Vayomer Av Shalom, velo yelech itanu amnon achai. Now Av Shalom says, maybe can my at least my brother Amnon come. Vayomer lo hamelech, lama yelech imach. Why do you want? Amnon to come, David asks. Vayifrotzbo Avshalom, Kav Zayin. Avshalom again, Vayifrotzbo. 
He puts pressure on him. Come on. So it's bothering him. Let him come. And David sends off Amnon as well to this party. V'es kol b'nei ha-melech and all the other sons of the king also go. Kafret. Vayitzav Avshalom et na'arav le'mor. Avshalom commanded his servants to do the following. You got to listen to this. Ruuna kitov lev Amnon b'yayin. You're going to see, Amnon is going to get drunk. He's going to be merry with wine. Vamarti aleichem. When you see that, I'm telling you right now, haku et Amnon. Hit him, beat him, kill him. Vamitem oso altiro, and don't be afraid. And kill him. Halo ki anochi tzivi eschem. I commanded you. You must kill Amnon. This is two years later. Be courageous in killing him. Kaftet says, and the servants of Avshalom did exactly what Avshalom commanded them to do to Amnon. Vayakumu ko b'nei ha-melech, vayirkuvu ish al pirdo vayanusu. When that happened, all the sons of the king got up on their pered, on their donkeys, and they ran away. Maybe they were next. Vayihi lamid, hima baderech, vashmu'a va'a. As they're going on the path back to the palace... The rumors got back to David. Lay more. He ka Avshalom et kol b'nei hamelach. Avshalom killed all the sons of the king. Velo notar mehem echad, and nobody is left. How important is it not to listen to rumors? The rumor here was that Avshalom killed all the children of the melech, when in reality he had Amnon killed by his servants. So what is David's reaction? Lamed Aleph Vayakam HaMelech Vayikra Et Begadav The king got up and ripped his clothing. Vayishkav Artsa and lied on the ground Vechol Avadav Nitzavim Krue Vigadim not only did David react by ripping his clothing and lying on the ground, but all his servants also tore their garments. Vayan Yonadav ben Shima Achi David Vayomer, Pasik Lamed Beis. Yonadav, our friend, who we knew about since the beginning of the parak, said to David, Al Yomar Aduni it kol hanearim b'nei ha-melech David, you got it all wrong. He didn't kill all of the sons of the king. Ki Amnon levadomet. He only killed Amnon. Ki al pi av shalom haita shuma miyom anoto et tamar choto. See, av shalom had a vendetta. He had a plan. He always had it in mind. He was going to wait for the most opportune time to kill his half-brother, Amnon, because of what he did to Tamar. And the day had finally come. Lame Gimel. Vata al yasem aduni ha-melech alibo, davar le-mor, kol b'nei ha-melech meitu. Yonadav still talking. And David, don't get so, don't be so afraid now and so scared and be mourning that all of the king's children died. Ki im av shalom levadomet. Amnon, sorry. Only Amnon himself died. So Pasuk Kavzayin 
through Lamed described Avshalom's revenge. Lamed Aleph through Lamed Gimel was David's reaction, Tkuvat David. Lamed Dalet through Lamed Tet now is Tkuvat Avshalom. What, how did Avshalom act? Vayivrach Avshalom, in this these psukim will set the tone for the next few prakim. Vayisa inar atzofa et enav vayar v'hinei amra v'hochim yiderech acharav mitzad ahar. Avshalom ran away. And Avshalom ran away, you see that everyone saw a lot of people coming back towards the king. Lamed hei vayomar yonadav el ha-melech hinei v'nei melech ba'u. See? All... All of your sons came back. Yivar Avdecha Kin Hayat, just like I said, so too it happened. Again, you see Yonadav trying to get on the side of somebody. Lamed Vav Yichalo Tolu Daber Vihinei Bnei Melach Ba'u Yisu Kolam Ba'yifku. They all raised their voices and cried. Where have we heard those words before? In uh, in this year when we were learning. Vegam Hamelach Vechol Avada Bachu Bechi Gadol Maod. The king. And all of his servants also cried a loud cry. Rav Shalom Barach, Vailech al Tamai, Ben Amihud, Melech Geshur. Rav Shalom ran away and he went to the king of Geshur, Vitabel al Beno, Kol Hayamim, and David mourned over his son all these days. Rav Shalom Barach, Vailech Geshur, Vihisham Shaloshanim. Avshalom ran away, and he ran away to Geshur, and he was there for three years. And the Pasuk concludes, David And David did not go out to find Avshalom. That's how our parak concludes. Begins with Avshalom, just a bystander the brother of Tamar, and now fleeing from his father, afraid for what he has done because he has taken revenge for his sister.